Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Combined. So, right now I'm gonna have Jason and Karina both head on over to the little event plaza for the new winter festival that just began a couple sim days ago in our Let's Play. That way Jason can ask her out on a date while they're both there, and we can rack up some more lifetime happiness points to get that magical genie to grant us a whole bunch of money. And then we can create a second... Well, first of all, with that money, we can use it to totally increase all the furniture and stuff at our main resort, and then after that, build a scientific resort uh, somewhere else when we discover another island and... Plastic, I'm going to have them head on over. Let's see. I can't remember which ones had um, map pieces. I know we went to Rocky Reef not too long ago and there wasn't anything there, but uh, as far as the chests go, I think the chests were still open. Um, or that, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure. Or was it over here? You know what? It was this one, actually, that has two chests relatively close to each other. So since we're right in the area we might as well dive down there and see what's going on also i think that the mailman might have uh arrived here already because we did send in those metals to get smelted at least i had plastic do that and i wonder if he has any more oh i forgot that he has some stuff in here that we haven't sold yet so let's sell this stuff for sure there we go and we can give these other ones to his wife that way we can have her go ahead and mail these in to get cut Figure since you know she's right here and oh my god there's our little cat sebastian it's so cute <laughs> holy crap we got a lot of stuff in return it looks fancy and shiny but i doubt that it's worth that much um i think we did get more money though from smelting and getting them cut than we would if we just sold them as they were with uh, raw materials so let's see, we got a, oh, a rock that was only worth 12 simoleons, but that's quite all right. We also did get some presents. Oh, that's right, for their wedding ceremony. Holy crap. <laughs> we have not checked their mail in quite some time, obviously, but we can go ahead and sell this. And look at that, we have 7,181 simoleons. That is awesome. Now, I think Karina is probably still making her way over there, yeah, because she's swimming all the way over there, and it's taking forever. There's another mermaid. We've seen you before, Mr. Salty Seaworth. You really pop out because you are like a grayscale mermaid, which is not something you typically see. Okay, it seems that both of the chests are still open, unfortunately. Um, so, ooh, well, let's catch this hermit crab, and then we'll have... Plastic go explore for a bit, and then we can go to another diving location to hopefully find another map piece, because he just needs one more. That's it. Just one more map piece, and then we'll be good to go, but it's just not going to happen <laughs> anytime soon, it seems. Keely, like, mm, well, how's the baby? What is she doing? Whoa. Okay, this looks painful. <laughs> I think it was just the angle. It looked like her feet was, like, broken. Or her legs, I should say. Oh, you know what? I don't really need to spend money on workout equipment. She can just do some cardio exercise right here. So let's do that. And we'll do it so that she doesn't break a sweat. That way... I don't know when she's going to go back to work. She won't be going to work for another two days. Can you believe this crap? Like, holy crap. I can't even remember the last time that she's gone to work. It just seems like it's been forever ago. But whatever. Once we get that genie, all our problems will be solved, hopefully. Seems that Jason is going to teach himself how to snowboard while Karina takes her sweet time to get over here. It's so stupid. Like, my god. It's taking her so long. Oh, you know what? It's because she's busy getting pregnant. And you know what? Normally, I don't like cheat but I, this is just gonna take way too long and i don't have the patience for this and if i could type that would be great so i'm just gonna have her get over here faster by teleporting her here otherwise she's just gonna swim and it's gonna take forever <laughs> so let me go ahead and turn this off so there we go okay now you should probably change into your outerwear do you have anything in your inventory yeah, it's too bad we can't transfer these map pieces, but if she finds two more, then that'll be fine. Then we can find another island. So, anyways, 
we're going to go and ask her out on a date here. That way we can knock out this uh, little want. He also does want to take a greeting card picture, so we can do that pretty easily. And what is this? I don't know why, but for some reason, he just got promoted. Maybe by just interacting with other Sims, even if they're in your household, you get money. And we got 520 simoleons. Awesome. So here they are, both hanging out. Uh, we should go take a greeting card picture. Actually, we should do that with... Uh, maybe once Teabag grows up to a toddler, we'll do it. Another greeting card photo with Keely and Plastic. And Teabag, of course. So here we go. Let's go take a picture of them while Karina is pregnant. And they're both wearing their outerwear for the winter backdrop, which will look quite nice, actually. So there it is. We have another greeting card picture. We can kind of get a little preview of it here. There's a snowman in the background, which is awesome. Uh, let's go put this in their house, which is over here, which they have still not used, by the way, because it's so brand new. Now let's zoom in a little bit just to see what it looks like. So there's our greeting card picture. I love that feature. I, I'm so happy that they put this in. I hope that they have something like this right off the bat with The Sims 4. That would be wonderful. Just because if you do like legacy challenges or something, you can take pictures of them easily in the game. Or, uh, let's see. What's going on? Okay. So if we just chat with her and kiss her, we should be able to free up two more spots and also be able to get more wishes. Look at that. We're getting so close. We just need 30,000 right now. We're at 26,000, almost 27. So that is great. And oh, look at this. They're like doing slow motion kissing. <laughs> he wants to do five. Wait, why did that kiss not work? Does he just want to do a normal kiss then? Because we did a heat of the moment kiss, I'm pretty sure. Or something like that. Uh, all right, we'll just do the normal kiss interaction then. There we go. I was like, why isn't it working? He wants to have a girl. Um, let's see, can we go ahead and end the date now? I think so. That way this can go away. I think that'll work. Yep, all right. Well, look at that. We didn't spend much time together, but whatever. It's all good. Maybe we'll do more next time. Uh, wow. Well, he wants to do a lot of stuff here at the festival. So we'll go snowboard for a bit. I think just snowboarding gives you tickets, maybe? I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it does, though. And that way we can have him rack up some points. Alrighty. Let's see. Can he do tricks right off the bat? I can't remember. Uh, to be honest, normally when I play The Sims 3, I disable the winter season. Just because if you're playing with like a family that has children, like the children never go to school and then like they never meet anyone. So it just becomes really annoying and <laughs> I just like skipping winter when I'm playing. It's not a season I'm used to in real life anyways because I live in California so it's just a little weird. Oh, just when I thought that he was ready for a child, he wants to go on a first date with some other random person. <laughs> All right, well... I think um, once the baby is born, we'll have enough points for the genie. So we don't really have to worry about that so much anymore. Does he have to do anything else for his career? He still does need to improve his charisma. So while he's over here, I guess maybe we'll just introduce ourselves to a whole bunch of people. That way, if we ever do want to increase his charisma, we can invite them over and just kind of charm their pants off. Well, not literally, because <laughs> I'm trying to have him stay in, you know, the relationship with Karina. So, Plastic, let's see. You're depressurized, so you can go diving again. There is nothing over at Davy Jones' locker. I think that Karina already got the chest at the Mermaid Grotto. So, honestly, I cannot remember if there's any chest at Rocky Reef. There probably is, and I just, I can't remember, and that one's like really hectic looking in my opinion, and it's really hard to find even the cave, for like at least when I try to find it, I'm like, I know it's here somewhere, and I'm probably looking at it, but I just can't identify it, so, <laughs> whatever, we'll see if there is a chest down here, I honestly have no clue, if not, uh, the chest should hopefully, ooh, at least there's an octopus here, so our time here was not completely wasted. We know that there is for sure um, a map piece over at the other location. We just have to wait for it to respawn. There's also some at the Mermaid Grotto, I think. I can't remember. But we just need one more map piece, which is pretty sweet. Oh, Karina. Right. Before I forget, my god. 
Okay, you need to go over to the houseboat. Where is the houseboat? It's over here. It's been a while since we've seen this thing, huh? <laughs> As you can see, remember, it's like all the furniture that used to be here, I kind of transferred over to our new house. Well, majority of it. So let's go and upgrade. Wow, there's a lot of upgrades we can do. We can do the foghorn, autopilot, and engine speed. I'm pretty sure we can do all three. I'm not exactly sure, but we might as well try. And since we have 7,000 simoleons in our household funds... Wait, is she... No. You are not going to swim half across the island. <laughs> that is just not going to be a thing that you're going to do. I don't have time and patience for that, okay? And I can't type today. My typing's bad. But then again, I just woke up somewhat, so... <laughs> Cut me some slack. Now, Karina... Hurry up. Come on. Where are you? What are you doing? Um, Alright, she's almost there. <laughs> but she was literally going to swim all the way over here across the island. <laughs> which is ridiculous. I mean, if the mermaids had, like, super speed when they were doing that, that'd be great. But no thank you. And look at that! Plastic has improved his scuba diving skill to level 8. Uh, the only thing is, we still have not learned any new locations to go into. What is he doing? Oh, Hey, other diver man. So I don't think I saw any chest. Um, but at least we got that octopus, which, by the way, we should sell. And we also did get a hermit crab. So um, I think it's getting harder to get promotions. Like, we're not finding really expensive fish anymore. We still have to sell uh, about 3.3 thousand worth of uh, fish. We're only level 6 in the scuba diving career. But... Uh, I think what makes it worth doing the scuba diving is definitely going down and getting the chests that have all the really expensive stuff in them. What is what is this person doing? Maya Ocean. Oh my god, look at her. She is stuck. She's also a mermaid, but she's like just here chilling in the sand. <laughs> have you been stuck here for days? Do you need help out of the sand? Well, too bad, because the game didn't program that for me to help you. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be like the next Dahlia. And I, I think that's what her name was. In my Sims 3 Generations Let's Play, there was this poor woman, but I think her name was Dahlia, who was just stuck in this pool, like at this gym for the rest of her life. It wasn't even a pool. It was a fountain. And she was just stuck there forever. So maybe Maya Ocean... We'll be stuck down here at Rocky Reef for the rest of her life. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything else to do here, so I'm going to have Plastic go back home and get in a better mood. Hopefully the next sim day when we go over to that other location, we should be able to get the final map piece that we need for a new island. Anyways, like I was saying, since we do have a decent chunk of money now, I think we can... Oh, someone just built an igloo over here. Stop it. You did not have permission to do this. <laughs> we'll put it over here. So anyways, I want to flatten the ground over here. That way I can add a jacuzzi over here. Um, let's see. There we go. Let's just move the diving board somewhere else in the meantime. We should definitely be able to afford a hot tub. I think we could even buy the cheapest one. I don't think buying a more expensive one really changes anything. I could be wrong in that. Um, let's see. The most expensive one that we can buy is this one, which is pretty fancy. I won't lie. But I think I'm just going to go with uh, the cheapest one. I figure it's a little bit more fitting than the others. And then we can put some tile around here. And we can center this. And maybe we should put some other sand or eventually what I'll do I'll put some landscaping I'll put like palm trees and stuff that way it doesn't look so awkward and it will look a lot more better during the spring and summertime for sure but <laughs> for now I figure I shouldn't even bother because the tile is completely covered by the snow anyways so I'm gonna set the water temperature to hot I think that might get us a better review I'm not too sure and Let's see, is there anything else that we need? I did buy the little wedding area. I don't think I need to do anything with it. I think they'll automatically get married. Actually, let's go into buy mode again, just to double check to see if there is anything that I'm missing. I could have bought the pool bar too, but whatever, I figured getting a jacuzzi might 
be a little bit more beneficial for now. So if you go to the function over here, this is what will increase our resorts. Oh, you know what? One of these fountains might look nice, but I can't center it with the resort tower. <laughs> um, well, I'll put it right here. Let's see. Actually, I think it is centered. Yeah, it is. So there, we have a random fountain here. <laughs> or maybe we should put the rock one? The rock one might actually look a little bit more nicer just because it will fit like the whole beach theme more. Actually, no, screw that. I like this one better. I'm just gonna have to change the colors of this or the pool later on. And I don't think that there's anything else that um, we need. Like we have plenty of room. Oh, you know what? Do we have this uh, coal stroll firewalk thing? I don't think we do. So that's a other little cheap item we can do to improve our island resort. And I want to say that's it. Like we have our gym and I think now we just need to put a lot more landscaping because more landscaping does increase like the scenery rating. So that's probably all I have to do. But let's see, is there anything we can do over here? Well, we can actually adjust the temperature. So that's cool. I would probably never do this in my entire life. <laughs> Looks way too intimidating. So... Tomorrow, we'll see how much money we're making. In fact, let's go look at our finances right now. Okay, wow. Our revenue is pretty damn high. And I think I'm doing everything as good as I can. Hopefully, maybe. Um, how many residents do we have in right now? I think I just said in the finances, but I wasn't looking. Oh, yeah, we're at full capacity. 44 out of 44. Maybe I should get a second resort tower. Um, I don't know if that does increase the capacity. I imagine it would. So that's cool that we're at capacity. That means that we're getting the most people to stay in here and probably the most money as well. So that is pretty legit. Something just broke over here. And <laughs> well, they're obviously into the holiday spirit, making igloos and building snowmen. <laughs> so we'll put the snowman out here. Look at that. Soon enough, we'll have an army. And it'll be wonderful. And then we'll be the snowman resort. But look at that. See, our pool looks so much cooler with this waterfall over here. It is glorious. <laughs> so how many days of winter are left? Let's see. We have five more days until spring. Um, to be honest, I might change it a little earlier. Like maybe in like one or two sim days. Just because uh, I, I do feel like I get pretty tired of the winter season pretty fast <laughs> and then once it's springtime again our resort will look a lot more tropical again but it's really interesting to see the island all snowy it's actually really beautiful i like it a lot oh no our sims are in a really bad mood i was just really distracted i think that they're all kind of hungry <laughs> well plastic decided to go over to <laughs> jason and karina's house for whatever reason it's not like you have a perfectly good kitchen up there or anything. Let's make sure tea bag is okay. Uh, she just needs some social. Poor baby, I'm sorry. We will snuggle and play with you and also give you a bottle. Actually, is it? I don't, oh, yeah, she's a little hungry. I almost called her an it. <laughs> and I know how angry people get when you call their children it. But I just can't help it. It just slips out. <laughs> I'm like, what's its name? It's a she. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, I was just, I don't know, I just, wait, why, why, oh, okay, I thought that this moodlet was, like, from missing work, anxious to advance, I know, me too, Keely, me too, but you've been out of work for, like, a whole week, maybe even more than that in the game, just because you got married and had a child, which is the stupidest crap ever like in the sims 4 i do hope that they add a babysitter again like obviously there is a babysitter in this game already but i guess what i should say is i hope that you can opt in to go back to work early like you know because maternity leave in this game is just way too long and then like your female sims can hardly ever advance in their career and to be honest, the only reason Keely is level 5 in the criminal career right now 
is because she had her degree from university. So if she didn't have that, she'd probably be only like level two or three. And that's just ridiculous. I think she's going to be an adult soon. Yeah, in five days she'll be an adult, which doesn't make sense. Because Jason's going to be an adult in two days. But Jason's supposed to be younger than Keely in plastic. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll probably just age up Keely and plastic first then. Not that it really matters too much, to be honest. But uh, that was something I was thinking about the other day. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Karina. I completely forgot. No wonder she's in a bad mood. I forgot that I was having her do all these upgrades while she's pregnant over here in the cold. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can go home. You don't have to do the rest of these upgrades. Or actually, okay, only because this one is almost... Actually, it's not almost done. It's only 72%. But... Oh, God, we didn't even do one yet? Wow, these take a long time. All right, well, Karina will just have to keep doing this some other time. And... Uh, why does my game keep thinking it's spooky day? What the hell? It's winter time. It's not spooky day. <laughs> this is the second time it's happened. I don't know. Oh my god. You know what, Karina? If you want to swim all the way home, instead of using... Wait, can we do this? Okay, hold on. Make this your preferred vehicle. Wait. Okay, now go home. Can you use the jet ski now? And stop swimming all the way home? No. Okay, so for some reason, mermaids just love... I mean, it makes sense that they love to swim. But you'd think that they would just easily... Oh, hey! Look at that! We made a five-star resort. So an investor was so impressed with your business uh, that he gave your sim the deeds to a private island. Oh, shit! Okay. Well, uh, cool. And it's also T's birthday, and it's almost Jason's birthday. So, wait... I wonder what's down... Oh, wh where is this? So this is over here. Holy crap. So the... Is that... Alright, well... We don't... We did not even need that other map piece. I mean, I'll still find that other map piece. Wow. Oh, actually, we didn't even have to discover it. Holy crap. Okay. Well, look at that. <laughs> we have a whole other private island to build our futuristic resort how cool is that i did not realize we were going to uh get the five star resort so fast it really was just those final items and keely is halfway there to accomplishing her lifetime wish so that was uh that was pretty crazy i did not realize that was going to happen so fast so uh, as for jason let's see oh he's really really exhausted but once he has his child we'll definitely be able to go and um, make a whole bunch of money thanks well that investor didn't really give us money but i mean he gave us a free private island so that's pretty cool now we have this island discovered and i have no idea where the other island was it was kind of by the uh garbage dump i'm pretty sure well like not right next to it but it was like by that island i think it's more closer to the headbutt arcade resort isn't this it over here oh god my game is lagging a little bit again or God, where is it? <laughs> this is bad news, you guys. Here it is. Oh, my God. So, kind of in a... Oh, yeah, there it is. There is the garbage dump. I knew I saw that. So, it's really far away from the rest of the island. <laughs> but how cool is that? All right. Well, that is all for now. In the next part, hopefully, Karina... I'm not sure if she's going to give birth in the next part. I don't think she will be. Um, I'm going to get her in a better mood again, and then I'll have her continue doing the upgrades for the houseboat. Uh, eventually, when we do get the genie, you know, we'll start building the second resort after we finalize. Well, I don't think we have to really make our resort any different now. Like, I might as well not bother with the Head Bar Arcade Resort. In fact... I'm, I'm not going to sell it right now. I don't think I'm ever going to sell it. But I just want to see how much. Because I think if we go to our phone and then go to real estate. And we go over here. I think we can sell it. And I just want to see what the worth of it is. So the worth of it is actually it's not that much if you really think about it. It's um, 104,000 simoleons. Which I mean it's fine. Uh, we can rename and sell and oh yeah collect funds is like if you own like the bistro or you know some other property on the island but 
yeah all right cool <laughs> we also have t's birthday to look forward to which is pretty great i think uh we'll buy her a birthday cake in the next part that way we can see what she looks like as a toddler so there's a lot of stuff to look forward to um i just want to mention because i have been getting asked a little bit like when is this gonna end this particular season um so i think it's kind of coming close to an end I want to just, you know, get Jason to have his child, we'll get the money, build the second resort, and then I think that's, like, really gonna be it, and then we'll be going to season three with Babs, Buster, Paula, and, uh, Paula's girlfriend, where we'll be kind of experimenting stuff with Into the Future, as well as some other stuff from other expansion packs. I don't think I'm gonna have Karina become a performer after all, because... If we do, she's not going to get very far into it. And honestly, she's going to like give birth soon. And I think she'll just not be able to work anyways for that whole time off. So I'll just have her be our like personal diver for the mermaid place we can't get to. Or Pearl's Deep place that we can't get to is actually what it was. So we can keep getting money and stuff. So, um, But in Season 3, I'll probably have like Babs or Daisy or, or one of them become a performer. And then maybe even get one of the ambition jobs or something just to shake things up a bit and make it more combined. Because I know with this particular season we were focusing mostly on Island Paradise because, you know, I didn't do a Let's Play on Island Paradise. And I didn't play it for like the first two months when it came out. So I've just been really excited and experimenting with all the new stuff in this expansion. But um, I feel like we are getting kind of close to an end. And once we get that money, we'll be able to finish furnishing our home over here because it is still bare. So... Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.